Greetings and welcome back to Switch to Linux. It is Monday and it is time for another Linux Top 5. And today we want to reverse direction a little bit from yesterday's review video and talk about benefits of Bode Linux. See, every time you're taking these distributions, they're not all entirely good or entirely bad. What you have is there's a lot of pros and cons to a lot of different distributions. And while my overall review for me personally running Bode Linux was not overwhelmingly positive, there are indeed some good reasons to run Bode Linux. And I wanted to conclude my videos for the next several months at least on Bode Linux with leaving you with top five benefits. Why would you want to run Bode Linux? Because there are legitimate concerns and, and people who definitely want to run it. So let's go ahead and have a look at these top five reasons to use Bode Linux. Number one, Bode is a very lightweight desktop. So as I talked about in my review, sure, it didn't load things up quite as quickly as I would like to th have things loaded up. However, still, when the system resources are running on a very small amount of of system memory, it means that you can install the operating system on a smaller computer. Now, yes, I do understand that a lot of computers are now coming with a lot more system resources, but not all, particularly your smaller form factor computers. The very things I use personally for writing as I go out and I write, I don't want a big, bulky, huge laptop for doing that kind of stuff. I actually have a very small laptop which has two gigs of soldered RAM into it, but it's still a modern device. But the low amount of system resources would make running something like Bodhi a logical choice. Now, I personally run Peppermint on mine, uh, but Bodhi would certainly be a distribution that would run on one of these smaller, lower end devices so that you can get a full running operating system with all of the full features and security updates without actually compromising your performance if you have a low spec desktop. So as I said in my review video, and I rebooted the system before doing that and pulled up HTOP as the first thing once the system started, just to see how many system resources it takes. And it actually takes 301 megabytes to load. I think it was up to like maybe 350 or so once I had the simple screen recorder recording the, the screen. So number one is Bode Linux is very lightweight and that makes it a logical choice to install on a low form factor computer or one that has lower system specs for whatever reason. Number two. All their systems are supported. Thank you, Kitty. All right, so number two is older systems are supported. Not all computers that are low spec are actually newer systems. Some of them are older systems. And the unfortunate reality is that several of your older systems are starting to do away with 32-bit support, including the main Ubuntu distro. However, Bodhi is one of the Ubuntu flavors, we'll get to that in a bit, that still supports your legacy 32-bit processors. So you can get the standard, which is going to be kind of like a 64-bit uh, um, minimal type install. You have the app pack, which is a 64 bit with a lot of applications and you have a legacy, which is a 32 bit support application. So this will support your older system. So if you are looking for a low spec older computer, maybe it had XP, maybe it had Vista on it, then Bode Linux would be a logical choice as you can get it running on a 32-bit architecture and you can get it running on a lot lower system specs. Number three. Bodhi is easy to customize. This is something that had more pros than cons in the review video that you saw. Yeah, the settings are a little clunky in how you have to maneuver to the arrows, but it is a very user-friendly way to set up your desktop. You want it set up like a Windows, like a Mac, something in between, something unusual and different. You can probably set it up very easily from the GUI. You can put the panels um, not just on the top, bottom, left, or right, but on the top right, on the top center, on the top left, and etc. all around the system. So you have a lot of different layout options, all from the GUI. It is very easy to customize. Everything from having a full-on Windows-like panel to having pretty much nothing to having a system dock panel like you might have on any other system. Maybe you want your panel on the top. Maybe you want your panel on the bottom. 
you can very easily customize the system without any real issues because the GUI makes adjusting these very simple without having to mess with configuration files or other things that you might encounter in other window managers. So I'd say as far as window managers is concerned, it might be one of the easier to customize. However, take that with a grain of salt because I don't use window managers quite as much as I use full-blown desktop environments. But regardless, Bodhi is very easy to customize and you can turn it into any type of layout fairly easy. Number four, Bodhi is based on Ubuntu. The reason this is a good pro is that Ubuntu, not only is it very solid, but Ubuntu also has the most amount of user-friendly support forums and newbie-friendly support forums. So somebody that doesn't necessarily understand a lot of things can generally get a lot better support from an Ubuntu forum than you can from a Manjaro, an Arch, or several other forums out there. So being based on Ubuntu means that the system is, uh, the system is, uh, it is easy to use, it is rock solid, it's going to have the support, and all the time I worked on it, I don't like the layout, I don't like the desktop, I don't like how clunky the, the system is, but I've not had a single crash, I've not had a single problem because Ubuntu is very solid. It is a great distro to run, and the derivatives of, of Ubuntu are great distros to run, and so being based on Ubuntu means Bodhi Linux is a rock solid distro. If you can get around the quirks of the desktop, you can get your way around around the system and it's gonna have all those Ubuntu repositories and everything is great. Number five, my personal favorite, maybe or maybe not yours, there's no snaps installed by default. Yes, Ubuntu did go a little on the weird side with having things like Theme files installed with snap packages? What? That's crazy. Uh, snaps are going too far. They're, they're, they're really going too far in the Linux world. There's a legitimate uses for them, but we don't need to be doing basic things like themes as snap packages, people, really. Um, but Bodhi Linux does not even have SnapD enabled by default. You can install it. You can turn it on. You can use it. It's fully functional but it's not installed on default. And so for me, I like the fact that it's still a distro that's holding on into Ubuntu, but it's not jumping forward into snaps, at least not yet. They're not over relying on snap packages and over relying on, uh, on the, the snap uh, packager managers to make sure everything is up, up and going. They're running with the Ubuntu repository, and I personally think that that makes for a better, more pure Linux system. And so number five is there are no snaps on Bodhi by default. Sure, you can add them if you like them, but they're not there, and that is a huge benefit for a lot of people who do not like the snap, flat pack, and app image invasion into Linux right now. So those are my top five reasons. What are your reasons that Bodhi is actually a great desktop? Let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for making it to the end of this Switch to Linux video. You can have a look at another video right on over here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel or to Think Life Media, which is my own personal support page. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.